Hello guys, this is Avcor, and we're going to awaken Zephaniel. I use her a lot in uh, PvE content. Um, I think this is worth it. I'm going to awaken uh, Iris as well, because I think she's worth it too. I think the awakening skills that came out this uh, patch are really good. And we're going to awaken her real quick, and we'll go over why this skill is really good. Jafaniel was one of like the first year less characters that I got to six stars. And to be honest, I think she's really worth that. She's worth the investment. Some people some people will argue otherwise. I, I think they're wrong. And some people will disagree with me and say, yeah, this is, this is where it's at. Because honestly, this is kind of where it's at. Because if you do goblin runs, it's kind of where it's at. So, of course, like on any map that we do awaken, we're gonna pull that. Because they just run for it. It's kind of retarded. They just, they just run for it. These guys are just running for it. So they're just, they're just running for it. And that's what we kind of want for them just to run for it. Um, I actually want to see if I can uh, take out Lanford. So let's see if we can uh, take out Lanford. Yeah, we actually want to kill Lanford. Really? So let's go ahead and uh, kill Lanford now. Right. I think that was kind of like kind of worth it and uh we're just gonna attack <laughs> we're just gonna yeah we're just gonna attack this guy so this is super easy um, I might use Shafanio and um oh that was dumb <laughs> that was super dumb you might as well attack with her. And we'll, we'll end it there. No, we won't. I forgot. You know? I forgot that we have to go through this process with kids. So now we're going to end it. Alright, so now it's done. So there's really no strategy for this. You just sit back you wait they come forward and you just blow them away not not there's not much depth to that um, no one needs to explain why that works but now we get to the, <laughs> the the skill which is pretty amazing right, so let's go over it All right, divine judgment. You know, it does magic damage. The cooldown is pretty high. It's five turns. It's just as high as this one. But this is what makes it special. This part makes it extremely good. Your crit is increased by 60%. That's insane. That means um, if you spec her right, it's almost an instantaneous nuke. So it deals 0.38 AOE damage to all enemies within five blocks, and this spells two buffs. That was good. That's why you want um. That's why I might switch her to. Uh, I'll, I'll show you the equipment. Super effective against demons. When hitting demon heroes, they are stunned for one turn. Uh, this is situational, but uh, if you see uh, Listale, then it's kind of over for Listale. When hitting three or more enemies, the skill cooldown is reduced by one turn. This is also really good because it reduces it to uh, four turns, which means it's one turn with her talent so every other turn she can use this if you use it properly when eliminating an enemy this skill cooldown is reduced by another turn so if you use this the right way it's like instantaneous spam now this crit chance is 50% which is really good but the multiplier is 3.5 so this is this is what you do this is Oh man, you gotta take this off? Well, I guess you gotta get rid of this. Yeah, well, 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 this is probably the best one cost skill. This actually is really good. I take that back. This is really good. 
This one cost skill is really good. Because the defense of one nearby friendly unit is increased by 15%. You're immune to defense and magic defense reduction and healing negation effects. So this is really good. Like if you don't have blood pack on your uh, Landius, this is really good. So I think this is the best combination. But the crappy part is you actually really want to bring this faction buff with her. Um, this is one of the best aspects of Shafanyo. She just brings her own faction buff and she can run two AoE skills, which is insane. It makes her kind of like the Bozo of Princess faction. So, But this is the right. Let me take that off. So this is the right one because you can consistently spam this so you never get in trouble. So if you don't, so if you screw this up, if you screw up your divine judgment, you don't get in trouble. So we'll test it out. We'll find some, uh, yeah, we'll do treasure in the dunes. Yeah, treasure in the dunes. I actually would do that quickly. So let's, let's, let's go to something else. Training school is always good. We'll go to tra cavalry training school. And we'll just only use, uh, Shafanio and, uh, oh, force of habit. We'll only use Shafanio and, and Landius to show... Because Landis always carries a faction buff. And she'll carry this. And we'll run through this. And you'll see that. With this setup, she's more um, geared to, uh, to just do. Um, she's more geared to be a Yolus player. Because I, I think it kind of sucks because you actually want to bring two AoEs and Shafania plus her. Um, Faction buff, cause it's just easier that way. Okay, so let's look at it. When, tack when hitting three or more enemies, this skill cooldown is reduced by one. So we can eliminate this. This is pretty easy. We can kill these guys, no problem. Wow, that, that span range is long. One, two, three, four, five. That's pretty bad. That's pretty. That's pretty good. Oh, she didn't kill. Let's, let's just set that up. She didn't kill, so. Alright. Let me see if my land is. Like, we can target. He might instant kill this guy. Yeah, he instant killed that guy. Damn. Okay, we'll, we'll do it differently this dude. To test it out. We'll do it differently. So we'll go back here. And we'll. Alright, so that's good. So she doesn't kill. So now the school the skill will be reduced by um, skill cooldown will be reduced by one. Let's go ahead and use it. Oh wow, she dusted both of them. Let's get Landis out the way again, so. So her cooldown's reduced by one, which is pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, she won't be killing these guys unless she crits. So, let me see. The way it looks like, he'll, we'll actually get hit, and then we can test it out again. Let's just stand right there. Alright. No! I messed up. <laughs> Lens is going to kill both of those guys. Lens is going to kill this guy, too. Damn it, Landis. Let's, let's mess up. <laughs> Your boy, of course, messing up. In fact... Landius to uh, go away. Now we'll do it. Now we'll win. Oh, now she activated her, um, yeah. So that skill span is going to be like super long. So now let's try it out. Let's see how long it is. Oh, wow. Right, that's pretty good. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Man, that's insane. That's insane.
Uh, she's got enemy phase these guys. In fact, we'll just let her enemy phase these guys. They can't kill her. We'll just smash and buff her up. So as far as I'm concerned about this skill, it's pretty good. I might actually use Shafania on PvP. I just gotta check her stats real quick. Oh, she dies. Damn. She actually dies. But does she does have arches on which have no HP, so that makes sense. So let's just go ahead and uh This is kill one, actually. Oh, God, these guys are at full health. <laughs> I messed up again. Okay. All right. This is the last one. Man. All right. These guys are at full health. All right. Oh, all well, this guy can't reach. Let's see what happens here. Never got the faction buff. She might die. <laughs> no, she won't die. No, she won't die. They they close her in. She won't die. Right. Let's just use this to kill these guys. Oh wow, he died. So only gonna, we're only gonna get to see it one more time. Anyway, let's just move here. Let's check that. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, that's even bigger. Man, that's insane. Ah, oh, and she crit. Damn, that's a lot of HP. So in order to use her really, really properly, you probably need Landia, so if you're gonna use her at her full potential. Let's go back and check my Shafaniel to see what's going on here. It's been a long time since I've used her. Let's check. Her int's not 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 it's not a thousand, so so this is only twelve percent on the attack. It's only four. Uh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Let's check. Let's check her um, class and chance. So her her skill is actually decent. Skill is actually decent. I actually built her, built her for crit damage. Her skill, HP, int, crit damage. So we have to change this. In order to use her, I would have to change this. But in order to use this skill, you want as much skill and crit damage. So I have to replace this with uh, that's crit damage. I want crit. Let me see if I got any crit. That's crit, so I actually want I actually want crit. I want int, I want a lot of int, I want HP and I want skill and I want crit damage and I want crit. Cause that that's how I built her. But she's lacking some int. Like this is only 70, 76, but it should be eighty. And for the um for the pole, it should be um it should be 15 so there's some room for improvement right here but I might use her because this 3C is good I mean then I, it means I have to put Landius back in I have to use Landius again because uh, in order to 
to use her at her full potential she needs Landius are either you take this off put this on and you uh, play smart because she doesn't have that many faction buffers or either you put Luna in in order for her to do her job but either way she can only be faction buffed by him him herself and uh, Luna so in order to use this 3C you have to consider that it's strong but um you have to consider your Shafanyo and how she fits in the box so with that in mind we'll close out the video just by saying this it's, it's really good this 3C is really good um it's just if you have your Shafanyo built for it or not because you want to take advantage of you want to take advantage of that crit crit increase by 60% you want to take advantage of that as much as possible because you hit them so hard that they have to heal and then you have your other people come in so it's really good but if you like my content like share subscribe button I'll get back to you you guys have a great day and goodbye